Okay. Yeah. Okay. My name is Christabel Silver John. I am the national coordinator of Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. Uh, we came to do Adopt a Child and Educate. It's an uh, annual program that we do. We started in 2015. Sometimes we don't even just do it annually, we also do it timely. We, there, there's need for it. Where we come to sponsor kids back to school, support them with school materials, like school uniforms, shoes, socks, exercise books, pens and pencils. And, so okay, the achievement I can say is that we have comfortably done this in like five states and we have made a lot of impact. Seeing the kids, because nothing makes a child more depressed when the child comes to school and other kids are properly dressed and he or she is coming with fun uniforms, and sleepers, it makes them depressed. Nothing makes a child, you know, happy when the child says, I'm coming to school and I have the normal school uniform. For instance, we as an adult, when someone gives you a gift, how do you take it? You're happy about it, you're excited. So that is the same way those children feel when you give them these items. When we started initially, we started you know, running these programs all by ourselves. And gradually when people started seeing what we're doing, those who had the same mission with us, started queuing into the, into the programs. And some of them also who don't want to be mentioned, you know, support the initiative. Thank God for social media. Sometimes when we announce this is on social media, people that we don't even know support the program. My vision is to see that, that, that Nigeria becomes a better place for everyone. My advice to parents is to also inculcate right morals into their children, help them, guide them, because the first place that every child learns from is from the home. Whatever the child, because whatever the society is today, is a product of what comes from the home. So a lot of parents are also not doing what they ought to do as parents. Because, you know, running around looking for how to make money to take care of their homes. If you make all this money and you don't raise your child well, at the end of the day, of what essence is the money? So we must incorporate the right morals into our children, help them to grow well, to become better citizens. Because when we raise godly children, we raise good children, we will age gracefully. But when you raise children that become a nuisance to society, it's not just the society, even you as a parent, you'll be crying every day. So, hmm, finances, finances. Sometimes you also meet brick walks from, from certain schools you want to visit depending on the program like for this one the program is always acceptable but there are certain programs that you want to run like for instance you want to go for um, programs of family planning some quarters don't accept it they will tell you god freely gives them children so they need to have the children and forgetting that the more you have kids and you bring up kids that you can't take care of it becomes a problem we've been doing our best we we'll go to communities to sensitize them on the importance of you know reducing the number of children that they have our desire is that there are a lot of work to be done if you find out today we came out, we came with some items but not all the kids got but by the time we have more people on ground we'll be able to reach out to more children especially in the rural area that i have to reach areas there are places you come to that you can't even go there without going to a canoe or a boat Support, from support, 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 support. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Put your hands together for your teachers. Yes, we love you. We love you. How many of you said thank you to your teacher yesterday? Don't lie, you. Don't lie. I know you know the importance of teachers. How many of you know the importance? Bring your hands down. Bring your hands down, Auntie. Hello. If you if you are here, you know the importance of teachers. Raise up your hand. Because I'll ask you a question. If you get my question, you have one pen from me. If you know the importance of teachers, raise up your hand. A sound clap for him. You have a bonus. This is for you. Put your hands together for him. What's your name? What's your name? Samuel Ibe. You are in primary what? Six. Good. What is the name of your teacher? Mrs. Idris Blessing. Please, Mrs. Idris Blessing, are you here? Yes. Mrs. Idris Blessing, are you here? Yes. If she is here, please, Ray of Hope want to appreciate her for being a good teacher. We have seen her product. We have seen her product. She is a good teacher. We are proud of her. Yes, who else will tell us importance of teachers? Importance of teachers. Hello. Okay, who will tell us the importance of education here? Yeah. Who will tell us the importance of education? Why you are in school? The reason why you are in school. Okay, a guy has spoken before. Let the girl. Okay. Gender equality. Let a girl speak. To learn. The importance of coming to school is to do what? Learn. No, when you talk of learning, you can still learn in your house. Hmm? Who else can help her? Thank you. Okay, there's a lady here. There's another girl there. Uh -huh. What's your name? Tell us your name. Fadila. Uh -huh. What's the importance of education? To learn how to read a house. Huh? Don't laugh at her now. Do you know it? If you laugh at her, I will ask you a new friend. Okay. To learn how to read. A clap. She tried. Okay, you tell us your name and your class. Tell us your name and your class. My name is Jerry Osman. I am from my school. What's the importance of education? The importance of education is how to read and write. Good. A clap. A clap. My name is Eve Person. I'm in primary five A. The importance of education is to have future. Good. Yes, you all did well. Now I'm going to ask another question. What is the name of this school? All of you should answer it. Good. What is the name of your headmistress? Oh, headmaster. What's the name of your headmaster? Mr. If you know it, raise up your hand. Okay. You. Give him. Call your name. You answer it. Tell us your name and your class. What's your name? Okay. What's the name of your 
Head teacher, the headmaster. Mrs. Adamu. Mrs. what? Adamu. Can somebody help him? Okay, give the girl beside him. My name is Amina Isiaku. I am in primary 5A. The name of your headmaster, Mr. Adamu Koko. Is she is she Mr. alright? Yes! Mr. Adamu Azim Koko. Can sing Koko. Is she, is she alright? Yes! It's all good for her. I like her presentation. The way she presented herself, I like it. Full of confidence. Have it. From Rohev. What do you say to Rohev? What do you say to Rohev? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Now, I have another question. In what local government is your school located? In what local government is your school located? In what local government? In what local government? Okay. My name is Ibrahim Sleman. I am primary six A. Six B. Our school located in Ama. In Ama. What is the true meaning of Ama? Who can tell us the full meaning of Amak here? The full meaning of Amak. Who? You answered before. I give a let's a second chance. Yes. 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 Amak. I'm yet to. Full meaning of Amma. You be, you, we must we must learn that one today. If we don't learn it, all of us will be under this sun. FCT Abuja. That's the full meaning of Amma. Very interesting. Airport Road, Abuja. Good. Very interesting to hear. The full meaning of Amak means Abuja Municipal Area Council. Abuja Municipal Area Council. In short form, Amak. But I wouldn't want you to learn that of Amak so you don't get yourself confused. When somebody asks you, where is your school situated or where is your school located? It is located, your school is located in Gosa, Abuja Municipal Area Council. What do I say? Abuja Municipal Area Council. Can we repeat it? Yes. Let's go. Again, again, Uncle, where is your school located? I think she's not feeling fine. You are not feeling fine? Are you sick? Aunt, uncle is gay. Ed. Have we learned one thing today? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Put your hands together for real. Somebody mentioned the name must have graduated through your teaching. I wouldn't want to use the word tutorials. Probably I can help people. Many people must have passed through your teaching, become doctors, lawyers, engineers. So, when you 
And the full names of the headmaster of Gosa Primary School. Thank you. We appreciate you. Repeat it. Can you clap for Mr. Adamu Kasim Koko? Hello. The best people in this school. What class are you? Wait. Six A. Your name again, sorry. Christopher Jeremiah from my six A. Christopher, I want you to stand out here. Come and stand out here. What's your name? Samuel, you will stand out here. What's your name? I'm in Isaac. Stand out here. Today we are going to get the best students of this school. <laughs> Camera. I, wait, Focus. Wait, wait, I have questions. Put it on. Oh my god. I have questions for you people. Oh hmm? Hey, Auntie. No, let her put on her. <laughs> We have good, better, best. Most times, we may miscalculate and give the better person the best. From my own analysis here, the girl out there and this boy, they are good. And this is who the school choose as the best. Before us now, we will be able to ascertain between the three of them who is better than the other. From there, the person will go with Ray of Hope Award. Are we ready? Yes. Teachers, hope I'm not stepping your back with due respect. <laughs> Principal, oh, sorry, headmaster. Sorry, with due respect to. I am not digressing for, from what we came here for, but I think I know it's part of learning. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Good. How does she look? Don't she look beautiful? Yes. Now she's putting on her two shoes. Is she not beautiful now? Yes. Good. If you win this award today, you will go with a brand new sandals. So the quiz is here now. Shall we? Come forward. Shall we? Yes. I will ask a question. Each question has two marks. Two points. If you fail your turn, another person answer it. It's a bonus mark. One point for that person. Can we proceed? Can we proceed? What is the name of Minister of Education? You don't know it. Any any bonus? Any bonus? Now your own question. 
What is the name of Minister of FCT? FCT Minister. What is the name of Minister of FCT? I think these are fundamental questions. The things they're supposed to know. No. When you are referring to human beings, don't say what. What. You use the word what for objects. But for human beings, you say who. You use the word who. Hmm? Good. So what was my question to you? Who is the minister of education? Good. A any bonus answer from there? Help me. Uh -huh. Pass the microphone to me. Sister, sorry, you will stand, go there and stand at the lady, so it will be easy for you to okay. go through the behind. My name is Abnegi Tiwotan. The name of Minister of Education is Mr. Domo Adomo. Correct! Come on! Please, come, 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 is what? Okay, they want to perform for us. Yeah. But I have, I give you a bonus for two standards, please. <laughs> come and choose. Come and make your choice. Come and make your choice. You have you have made me proud. You have made me proud. Please stand here. Camera, get her, please. She got this award. Show it. She got this award from Ray of Hope for answering the question. The name of the Minister of FCT. Uh, sorry, Minister of Education. What's the name of Minister of Education? Minister Adomu Adomu. Please, an applause for her. What do you say to Ray of Hope? Thank you. Good. Please, a sounding applause for her, please. She deserve it. She deserve it. Another question, please. You see, sir, it is obvious now that in most cases, the people we see as the best, they are not the best. Among the three, we, we, we are thinking are the best. See where it came from. Eh? Hope, I'm in order. Thank you for your permission. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I put your question to you. What was my question to you? Good. Do you know it? Do you know it? Do you know it? FCT. Minister of FCT, can somebody help us from the floor? Who wants to try? Minister of FCT. Somebody's raising his hand. Okay. My name is Moses Christopher. Is Mr. Taiwo or Kuni? No, 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 no. No. Minister of FCT. Foreign Affairs. Very, very important. Very, 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 very important. Current affairs. Can any of the teachers help us? The minister of FCT. Now listen to your teacher. Now listen to your teacher attentively. Ma, your name and your My name is Samira Doga. So the name of the minister of FCT is Mr. Mohammed Musa Bello. Thank for your picture. Are you proud of your teachers? Yeah. Are you proud of your teachers? Yeah. A sound clap for your teachers. Yeah. The name of FCT minister is Mr. Adamu Bello. Mr. Adamu. Mr. Adamu is the Minister of what? FCT. Mr. Adamu. Mr. Adamu. Minister of what? FCT. 
Are we happy? Yes. Are we happy? Yes. Now your own question. Don't fear. Calm down, yeah? Calm down. Calm down. Hmm? Don't fear. So I said I have the coming down. Uh, my name is Mrs. Olamide. I'm from Banari Fort. The name of the woman I'm telling you is Mrs. Poli Hello. Hey, sound go for her. The name of Minister of Women Affairs is Mrs. Pauline Talen. Is Pauline? Mrs. Pauline? Mrs. Pauline? Are you happy? Yes. Put your hands together for our teachers. Hello. Okay. Three of you can now go and sit down. You, please appreciate them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. It's not easy. It's not easy. Sit on the chair, please. Sit on it. Be a good. Yes. You can see people that just came in now. They are officials from NTA, Abuja. Today, you all will be coming out on television. Are you happy? Yes! Are you happy? Yes! Put your hands together for Ray of Hope. Put your hands together for officials from NTA. The people here today that are making this thing happen today is Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. Is what Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. Can we say it together? Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. Now, since the NTA are here, can we stand up for national anthem? Can we all stand up for national anthem, please? National anthem, one, two, go.
hands together for yourselves. You may be seated. Like as I said before, the people that are making this happen today is Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. What does this organization stand for? Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, it is it's an organization with social responsibility in supporting students, people like you, to encourage you in your education, to support guest child education, your well-being, to make sure that you feel happy coming to school, to make sure that you don't lack anything to encourage you to support your parents to bring, to bring you to school, to encourage you to show you love, to show you love that you're supposed to be in school and to learn in a conducive environment, to encourage you and to support you, to make sure that there is nothing that will hit you from coming to school. That's why if you look at the table there, you can see school bags, you can see pen, you can see school sandals, you can see books. All those things are to encourage you. Some of you don't come to school because you don't have footwear. Some of you don't come to school because you don't have pen to write. Some of you because you don't have a size book to write on. Some of you because when rain falls, you don't have anywhere to put your books. That's why Ray of Hope is here today to support you, to encourage you in one way or the other. We know the economy is bad. Things are not moving right. Our parents find it difficult, most times, to provide for us all that we want. That's why Ray of Hope is supporting parents. They are supporting our parents to provide some of this. To make sure that, to help reduce the burden on the parents. That's why we are here today. So let's put our hands together for Ray of Hope. The items you see here today on the table is for you. All these items, they are for you, they are not for the teachers. The writing materials, the educational materials you see here, they are for you, to encourage you. They are to encourage you. So you will not have any reason to say I am not coming to school. I am happy today that the teachers here, they are doing marvelously well. From what I see on ground, from the people I see here, from the answers you have given to my questions, proves that the teachers here, they are really doing their job. Please, can we still applaud our teachers? <laughs> Amongst you all, uh, okay, let me throw another open question now. Among all of you here, who among you did your parents yesterday brought a gift for the teachers? Who amongst you here that the parents brought a gift for the teachers? Your mom did or your dad did? Your mom did. Give her microphone. What did your mom give to your teacher? Say I should give. What's your name, please? My name is Ibeko Isochuku. I'm in primary 5A. Okay. My mom gave me granola to give to my teacher. Yes. Wow, what's the name of your teacher? I gave it to Auntie Mrs. Olamide. You gave it to Mrs. Olamide? Good. We have a gift for your mother for being a good mother that remembers the teacher. Come and collect a gift for your mother. Yes. 
Your mother cannot wear school sandals. She cannot wear school uniform. Eh? But we have this token for your mother. Hmm? Give it to your mother for being a good and caring mother. It doesn't work much. It's too small. But with gratitude, we give it to her. For remembering a teacher that is putting her children are right. We appreciate her. Tell her that the Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation tell her thank you for remembering your teacher. Eh? Put your hands together for her mom. She's a wonderful mother. When you get home, please tell your parents to remember your teachers. Every, even if they don't have money or they don't have anything, a phone call alone. Ma, thank you. Sir, thank you. A phone call alone is enough for your teacher. They are trying, under Ryan and Son, to bring you up to make you a better child. Your parents are supposed to be appreciating them. Go home, tell them today that Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation came to your school and they ask you to tell your parents to learn how to appreciate your Teacher. They should know how to appreciate your teacher. They should know how to appreciate your teacher. Hello. Hi. Now we are calling on the cultural group. Let them come out and, pre and give us their presentation.
Kanu aku tak tahu. Kanu aku tak tahu. Tahu ya, tahu ya. Tahu ya, jalele. Tahu ya, tahu ya. Tahu ya, jalele. Kanu aku tak tahu. Kanu aku tak tahu. Tahu ya, tahu ya. Tahu ya, jalele. Kanu aku tak tahu. Kanu aku tak tahu. We appreciate you all. We appreciate you all. You have done wonderfully well. You have done wonderfully well. Yes. We are proud of the teachers here. We are proud of the teachers here. Against all odds, against the formal education, they still teach the informal education, taking us back to our culture, which is very important. No matter anything, we cannot forget our culture. We cannot forget where we come from. The teachers in this school, I appreciate you all. You have done wonderfully well. From what we see here today, we are proud of you. 
thank you all. Yes, uh, we will enter the next segment of this program. Hello, students. How are you doing today? Good day, parents. Good day, headmaster. Good day, everyone that is seated here today. Today is a very wonderful day in our life. Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, with partnership with uh, Pi Bea Care Foundation and Cubic Concepts, is here to support the children of Gosa LEA Primary School. Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation is a non-governmental organization that is committed to making a difference in the lives of children, women, especially children who are in school, and those who are not in school, we do our best to bring them into school. Because we know that the fundamental right of every child is to be educated, whether we like it or not. But some are not in school, not because they don't want to be in school, but they are not in school because of financial constraints, traditional beliefs because I know that some people still believe that to send their kids to school is a waste of finances so some don't do that so we're here to encourage the children to become better citizens to become better people that tomorrow they'll be proud of themselves and not just themselves but they'll be a blessing to their generation so I want to say a very, a very big thank you to the teachers for the good work you're doing. We appreciate you. Yesterday was Teachers' Day. And we asked some of the pupils here, how many of them, you know, appreciated their teacher? Only one child, and the mother remembered her teacher. And I want to say thank you and God bless that mother. Because we know that all of us are all a product of teachers. If we didn't pass through the school, we would not be where we are today. So we celebrate the teachers. Every other profession, comes from the teacher, comes from the classroom. So we say kudos to all the teachers. Your reward will not be in heaven. Your reward will start from here. Gone are the days when they said the reward of teachers are in heaven. Their reward must start from, what did I say? From here. So today we've been doing this uh, for over five years now. Since 2015 we've been visiting communities, various schools where we come to impact children actually those who come to school without the right uniforms without the right materials we see how we bridge the gap because we know that times are really hard but we believe that with the support of individuals corporate organizations that will be able to change the life of one child it starts with just one person if we must make a difference in the lives of people we start from just one person and where does this thing start from? From the classroom. If we deny the students the right to education, we have denied them everything in life. I have a father who is a carpenter. But when we were growing up, he always told us that even if any of his sons want to be a carpenter like him, the child should get educated. Because once you're educated, you have a better edge over one who is not educated. Of course, today we have computer everywhere. If you're not learning, you can't operate computer. So education is not necessarily, you know, reading how to, learning how to read and write, but a whole lot of things are involved in education. We have the formal and the informal education. But the basic, for you to be able to do whatever you want to do, you have to have a minimum of the formal education, which that is why you are here. So clap for yourselves and your parents are able to send you to school. If you go out now, right now in the streets, you will see little kids like you hawking. It's not as if they don't want to be in school. They also want to be in school, but they don't have the opportunity. So you should celebrate yourself that you're here and make sure that you learn. Concentrate on your studies. Don't join bad friends. They say, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. So they kind of people you keep around you determine how far you can go in life. You may be born in a poor home, but you can choose to be a rich person. Where you are born does not determine where you go to tomorrow. I hope you all know that. We had the president, good luck, who said he went to school without shoes. 
but he later became a president of this country. Anytime you will address him, you will address him as a former president. He did not allow his background stop him. So you too, you will not allow your background to stop you from being who you want to be in life. I hope you know that. Whatever that stopped your parents will not stop you. The only person that can stop him or herself is you. No one has the right to stop you. There was a recent uh, post I saw, a boy who was a conductor before. Today the boy is going to have his master's degree. He was a conductor. During the day he was working with a motorway bus. And in the evening he will go to class. The money he was making, he was able to see himself through school. Some other person would have said, okay, my parents don't have money to take me to school, so I won't go to school. But he was determined. So everything you do in life must start with determination, self-determination. Believing in yourself, believing in what you can do. So when you have that right mentality that I can be whoever I want to be, nobody can stop you. I know amongst you here seated are governors, presidents, doctors, lawyers. So tomorrow, I may see some of you tomorrow and I'm like, I, used to, I, I met this girl before, I met this boy. So that is her life. I see each and every one of you here like a seed. When you plant a seed in the ground, it doesn't stay there for life, it grows. And from that little seed, it becomes a tree. From a tree, it becomes a forest. So I see great future. I see great potentials in each and every one of you. So thank you, teachers, for all that you're doing for this pupils. We celebrate you. We can't thank you enough. Because I have a mother who is a teacher too, so I know what it takes to teach these children. We have our children at home. We know how we struggle with them. Not to talk of some of these children from different backgrounds. So kudos to you all. Thank you so much. Yes, we thank and appreciate the CEO of uh, Ray of Hope Foundi Empowerment Foundation for the wonderful speech. Um, the next segment of this program is the presentation of uh, the gifts to the deserved people of the school. I think we should proceed with that. Um, the present in, pre in the presentation, we start um, with uniforms. Once you get your name, please, you step out. Green, white, green are the colors of our land. And here we come, winning and obediently, bursting forth our sweet and end of prophecies. We drop the shoutings, singing of your glory. We drop the shoutings, singing of your glory. From the north, south, east, and west of Nigeria. From the north and south to the most high. We are shouting, we are Nigeria.
everywhere in our world In our midst, tribulations and tranquility Bursting forth, a street and in the prophecies We trust the shouting, singing of your glory We trust the shouting Singing of your glory From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high God We are shouting praise
by her neighbors Sending them voice everywhere in our world In our midst, tribulations and tranquility Bursting forth, a written in the prophecies We trust the shouting, singing of your glory We trumpet shouting, singing of your glory From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high God We are shouting praise
everywhere in our world In our midst, tribulations and tranquility Bursting forth, as written in the prophecies We trumpets shouting, singing of your glory We trumpets shouting, singing of your glory From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high God We are shouting praise
guided by her neighbors Sending them voice everywhere in our world In our midst, tribulations and tranquility Bursting forth as written in the prophecies We trump the shouting, singing of your glory We trump the shouting Singing of your glory From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high God We are shouting praise Sending 
singing them voice everywhere in our world. In our midst, tribulations and tranquility bursting forth as written in the prophecies. We trust the shouting, singing of your glory. We trust the shouting, singing of your glory. From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high God We are shouting praise rejoiced and great things were spoken of her but in the twinkle of an eye sadness came pains lootings killings bombings and kidnappings everywhere but right now we are all receiving the grace to stand to rebuild and to fulfill the nigerian dream so let love hope equity and peace reign it's time to finish this building it's time for fulfillment it's time for Nigeria to rise again. It's time for Africa Renaissance. Come on. Let's hear the sounds of healing and celebration. We're shouting great. Thank people for what you have done to us. Some people do not have book, but people bring book to us. Some not have bag, but bring but bring back to us. We want to tell people thank you for the thing that you have done. God will bless you, and anyway, go God will protect me. That might not Jesus. I'm Mrs. Olamide from Eliego South Primary School One, Airport Road, Abuja. We experienced gifts from New Hope. Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation. They were able to give the children, provide sanders, school bags, uniforms, and um, exercise books for the children. I'm very, very happy and I appreciate We say a big thank you and we appreciate you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Boys, you give both of them Yes. And yesterday was Teacher's Day. And because this program today has been scheduled to be today, that's why we were unable to come yesterday. So today we want to use one stone to kill two beds. Teachers, like as I said before, have been the bedrock of the every economy because the best economist in the world was taught by a teacher. The best physician, the best everything was taught by a teacher. So in our little way, a ray of hope, we want to appreciate the teachers for the good job you people have been doing in bringing up the leaders of tomorrow. If 
the parents do not appreciate you, and we, as social organization, we don't appreciate you. I doubt what to do your hope. That's why, in our wisdom, Ray of Hope found it worthy, found you people worthy to be appreciated. Though it is not much, it is not much. We appeal to you to just manage us the way you see us. As you all know, we are a non-governmental organization. All these things are being sponsored by we and some of our little donors. Please appreciate us. Take us the way you see us. We love you all. We appreciate you. We appreciate the good work you are doing to the society. We say thank you. On behalf of the CEO of Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, we present this to the school. Thank you. Sir. So I also want to recognize the longest serving teachers here, who I have, Mrs. Ngozi Gabriel. Yes. It is a, an award to the longest serving teacher in Eli Egosa, Mrs. Ngozi Gabriel. Ma, we thank you, we appreciate you for your good work. Thank you, sir. And we have uh, uh, I don't know if it's Mrs. Miriam Pusma. The longest serving teacher here, too. One of the longest serving teachers in every Egosa. We appreciate you, Ma. Thank we you, love sir. you. We say thank you for the good work you're doing. Thank wow. you. Please raise the head teacher. <laughs> On behalf of Ray of Hope Foundation, we present this to the head teacher of the school. Sorry? Okay, we have come to the end of today's program. I don't want to try to educate slash we'll have back to school supply donation. And today we want to present this certificate of participation to the school, to the head teacher. We say thank you so much for hosting this program today. We appreciate it.